Last week, Curtis Harms reported on UNL Extension Research and a project measuring feed efficiency in cattle. In this project, electronic ear tags were added to cattle, which notified a computer system whenever the animals consumed feed from bunks. Bunks were weighed before and after consumption to measure feed intake. This week, Curtis is back with UNL Extension beef physiologist Rick Funston to talk about another system which also measures feed intake and efficiency. The Kalen Gates feed system is unlocking new information on feed intake and efficiency in cattle. In this research system, cattle are each given a key which unlocks a specific feed bunk, according to the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension beef physiologist Rick Funston. Each gate has a circuit board in it and the only the animal with the key to that circuit board can actually open that gate and all it does is when a heifer gets, his, gets close to it, it retracts the pin and she hears that and she knows to push the gate open. The cattle must be trained to consume from a specific bunk. Initially, all of the bunk gates are open as research technicians observe the cattle to identify where the animals prefer to eat. Once cattle have indicated a bunk preference, the animals are taught to use their individual keys. The entire training process typically takes around three weeks. Funston says his work is twofold. The first half of his work looks at the impact of heifer development systems on feed efficiency as a pregnant heifer. So we develop heifers either on corn residue or on winter range, and then the heifers uh, come home from corn residue in mid-February, and those that were on winter range then go in a dry lot and on an accelerated gain till breeding to, to uh, develop two different target weights. And we obviously want to know how that impacts fertility, reproduction, those animals breeding as yearling heifers. But in this study, we also want to know how that impacts feed efficiency by how we develop heifers post weaning. The second half of Funston's research looks at how late gestation nutrition that's being fed to bred heifers impacts the fetus postnatally. We're, we're feeding these bred heifers either a, a, ra a diet that is just hay, um, marginal to low quality hay, or with one of two supplements. And the supplements, supplements are either distiller's grains or a supplement that's equal in crude protein and fat that's composed of uh, uh, corn gluten feed and corn germ to increase the fat. So we're feeding those supplements, those heifers that are on the supplements gain more and we want to know how that impacts uh, fetal development. So then we run those uh, progeny, those calves, through our grow safe system uh, to see how how we treated that mother during gestation impacted those calves during the finishing phase. There is some evidence which shows that certain nutrients are involved in fetal development. Funston hopes his research will prove that unborn calves utilize some of these supplemental nutrients. Perhaps some of these uh, supplements such as distillers that's high in bypass protein where these amino acids escape break down in the rumen are absorbed um, in the small intestine and may actually be transferred to the fetus. Although this feeding system is very labor intensive, it differs from the grow safe system we looked at last week because researchers are able to determine and modify the rations of specific cows opposed to having cattle all consumed from the same bunks. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Curtis Harms.